This is Joe Biden, the current resident of the United States. On June 1st, Biden delivered the commencement address at the United States Air Force Academy's graduation ceremony, an address that was overshadowed by the following incident. It turns out that Biden tripped over a sandbag that was holding down one of his teleprompters. Because of course he did. But there's a little more to what happened. Look at his arm. See how it's bent? Well, Biden does this when he's about to do one of those one second jogs that he's famous for. Now, let's watch the clip of Biden at the graduation ceremony. Pro tip, Joe. Walk, don't run. Then there's this chick who freezes for a moment and is like, yeah, I'm out. And some members of the media tried to downplay the incident to the point of even trying to normalize it. Though almost every recent president has taken a tumble in public at some point, one of the downsides, Nora, of being followed by cameras everywhere they go. Notice that she said nearly every recent president has taken a tumble in public. Well, let's take a look, shall we? George W. Bush was photographed stumbling off a Segway scooter while learning to ride it at his family's summer home in Kennebunkport, Maine. This isn't really tumbling in public, but whatever. Then Barack Obama once stumbled walking down the stairs on Air Force One, and another time tripped while walking upstairs to get on a stage, but he instantly got back up. And more recently, Joe Biden fell up the stairs three times in four seconds. Then he tripped up the stairs in Poland, tripped up the stairs in Alabama, tripped on a stage in New York. Oops, stepping on a, there's a, it's black, anyway. Tripped upstairs at Joint Base Andrews, tripped upstairs in Indonesia, tripped downstairs in Japan, and everyone's favorite, when he fell off a non-moving bicycle in Delaware. <laughs> Not to mention that right before he took office, Biden fractured his ankle, supposedly while playing with his dog. Yeah, sure. So in about two and a half years, Biden has tripped nine times. Nine times? Nine times. And that's not including the incident just hours after tripping over a sandbag on stage, where Biden bumped his head while departing his helicopter. Oof. There goes the last of Biden's brain cells. And then Biden started to salute the press gaggle for some reason, and then addressed his fall on stage. Mark my words, Biden's gonna make history by being the first commander in chief to break his hip while in office. Now, if any of this happened to President Donald Trump or any Republican president for that matter, Democrats would be asking questions about the president's mental and physical health. And we know this based on the reaction from Democrats in the media, the same thing, when President Trump slowly walked down a ramp and didn't fall down. There are some questions this morning about President Trump's health, and it's because of this video of the president where you see him walking very haltingly, one leg at a time, it, it starts happening here. Wait, the president was walking? One leg at a time? Come on, man. But when Joe Biden falls again and again, it's just, it's just a thing that happens, guys. Well, falls are really common and they're uh, especially common uh, in the elderly. It's thought that about one out of every four people over the age of 65 will fall this year. So it's, it's super common. But when Donald Trump doesn't fall, it could be because of brain damage. There's a lot of clues in there, but no, no conclusions. Uh, is it balance problems? Is there some weakness there? Is there numbness uh, uh, in the feet, perhaps a type of neuropathy? Is it just a slippery ramp, as the president said, or, or slippery shoes? You don't know. But when Biden falls, again, nothing to see here. It's normal. Uh, his communications director said he's fine. Karine Jean-Pierre, the White House press secretary, said he's totally fine. Smiled at reporters as he was boarding Air Force One. Everything seems to be totally fine. Just repeat the line exactly the way they told you, CNN. Questions are for real journalists. Anyway, enough about Joe Biden being the clumsiest and oldest resident of the White House in American history. Let's get to his actual address to the graduates. It wasn't all push-ups 
in cramming for Prague Week, though uh, to set the Guinness Book of Records, world records, most simultaneous push-ups, there had to be an enormous amount of push-ups. Pro tip, Joe. If you make remarks in front of thousands of people and everyone has to look on the internet to see what the f you're talking about, you need to think about retirement. And according to the official White House transcript, Biden did in fact say Prague Week, which is a thing that doesn't seem to exist. Prague Week. Next, Biden screws up the part of his address where he's supposed to say, we are seeing emerging technologies from AI and 3D printing that could change the character of conflict itself. But instead... But we're seeing engaging technology, emerging technologies. All AI, from AI and 3D printing. Joe can't do something as simple as read a speech before giving it, or read a sentence from a teleprompter. And Democrats expect us to believe he's running the country. Yeah, sure. I met in the Oval Office, in my office, with 12 leading, no, excuse me, eight leading scientists in the area of AI. I need AI to remind me how many people were in my office. <laughs> Some are very worried that AI can actually overtake human thinking and planning. But I'm not worried about Al or third printing. I'm smarter than both of them. A few months ago, I called to speak to my national security advisor. He was out here. But I was told he was unavailable. Turns out, first the Andrew Deaver had him out doing loops and barrel rolls on a glider. I wanted to talk to Jake Sullivan, but he was f***ing around in a glider. I don't remember what I wanted to ask him about, but I'm sure it wasn't important. Never is. I asked if I could do that today, and the, Supreme, and the uh, Secret Service said, no, we'll have to shoot it down. So the Secret Service said, if you get on that glider, Joe, we'll shoot it down. Wait, what? This year's graduating class is among the most diverse in academy history. You're graduating the highest percentage of women. By the way, I met with, uh, who are those guys that fly over shortly? You heard of them, haven't you? Three of them are women. Oh my God, who cares? And your class is one of the diverse, most diverse classes in the history of this academy or any academy to graduate. That's why we're strong. No, it's not your rigorous military training or your will to succeed that makes you strong. It's the color of your skin. That's why we're who we are. That's why we'll never give up. That's why. Why is he so angry about this? What the f is wrong with him? I applied to the Naval Academy and I was picked by the senator. There's two ways senators can pick. You can pick individually or they can name 10 people and let the academy choose. And I was a relatively good football player, so I had a shot. Now Biden has made this claim before as far back as 2010. 1960, I was a pretty good football player at the University of Delaware, and uh, I uh, was one of the guys that applied to come to this great academy. However, Biden couldn't have been playing football at the University of Delaware in 1960 because he was still in high school and didn't graduate until 1961. And uh, a fellow named J. Caleb Boggs considered me and... Uh... And according to reporting by the New York Post, there is no record of Biden applying to the Naval Academy, there is no record of Senator Boggs submitting his name, nor did Joe Biden mention the Naval Academy in any of his memoirs. Why? Because it never happened. I was appointed to the Academy in 1965. But that's not true either, because the year he cited, 1965, is the same year he graduated from the University of Delaware, and the Academy does not offer graduate degrees. But a guy named Steve Dunning from my class was also nominated. Drove up, it was about 7 in the morning, we were going to drive down to Annapolis, and I had just heard the night before, they had a halfback named Joe Bellino, won the Heisman Trophy, and a quarterback named Roger Staubach. I went to Delaware. The New York Post reached out to Biden's friend, Steve Dunning. Dunning graduated high school alongside Biden in 1961 from Delaware's Archmere Academy and was reached on the phone by the Post. And that's great. I'm sure that Biden's old pal Steve will verify Joe's versions of events and clear everything up. 
The retired marketing executive said he recalled that period of time pretty well, but declined to comment on Biden's story. Read between the lines, guys. It never happened. So to recap, Biden claims he was going to go to the Naval Academy, but realized he wouldn't be able to play football because there were better players than him, so he didn't go. Great story, Joe. Great story. Anyway, that's it for now. Follow me on Twitter at Don't Walk Run. Be sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. And as always, thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. If there is next time.